Listening eighty five. Listen and read. Young stars. Jordan Romero. Jordan Romero is from the United States. He was born on the twelfth of July, nineteen ninety six. On the twenty second of May, twenty ten, Jordan became the youngest person to climb to the top of Mount Everest. He was thirteen years, ten months, and ten days old when he reached the top of the mountain. He climbed the mountain with his father, Paul Romero, his stepmother, Karen Lundgren, and three Sherpas, special guides called Ang Pasang Sherpa, Lama Dawa Sherpa, and Lama Karma Sherpa. Climbing Mount Everest was part of Jordan's ambition to climb the tallest mountain on every continent. This adventure is called the Seven Summits. When Jordan finished this incredible task, he was fifteen years, five months, and twelve days old. So he is the youngest person ever to climb all seven mountains. The Seven Summits adventure. Took a lot of hard work, preparation, and training. Jordan visited some of the most beautiful places and some of the most extreme places on Earth, including the coldest place on Earth, Antarctica. Jordan was lucky to have a great team climbing with him. His father Paul and his stepmother Karen have both got a lot of experience in mountaineering. And they both love adventure. Paul knows how to help people in medical emergencies at great heights, where there isn't much oxygen. Karen is a coach and a personal trainer, so she's great at encouraging people to keep going. But Jordan didn't need a lot of encouragement to achieve his ambition. Like his dad, he loves adventure. Now Jordan has started a new adventure. But this time he is staying on one continent. He's going to climb the highest point in each of the U.S.'s fifty states. He calls this adventure the Find Your Everest Tour. He wants to encourage children and teenagers in the U.S. to get outside, be fit and healthy, and do things as a family. He wants young people to come and meet him when he visits each state. And to join in his adventure, or find their own adventure. Jordan thinks everyone should have an ambition. You don't have to climb Everest, but it's important to set yourself a goal and try to achieve it. Samantha Kinghorn. Samantha Kinghorn is sixteen years old, and she's from Scotland in the UK. In December twenty ten. When Samantha was fourteen years old, she was helping her dad to clear a path in the snow at her family's farm. Suddenly, a large pile of snow and ice fell from a roof and landed on Samantha. The snow and ice injured Samantha's back, and she couldn't feel her legs. An ambulance took her to the nearest hospital, but Samantha's back was broken, and she was not able to walk again. Samantha spent six months in the hospital, recovering from her injuries. She learned how to use a wheelchair, and to get around without using her legs. As Samantha became stronger. She discovered that she could make her wheelchair move very fast. A physiotherapist at the hospital took Samantha to Stoke Mandeville, the national centre for disability sports. Samantha tried lots of different wheelchair sports. She realised that she was very good at wheelchair racing. Samantha started training six times a week. She soon became very fit and very fast.
She won the Great Scottish Run 10km wheelchair race in September 2012. In April 2013, she entered the Mini London Marathon and finished second. She has also joined Scotland's athletics squad and will be the youngest member taking part in the Commonwealth Games in Glasgow in 2014. Her next goal is to take part in the 2016 Paralympics in Rio de Janeiro. Samantha has achieved a lot in a very short time and she is already becoming a national hero. Her family is very proud of her for being so strong and positive. Like Jordan Romero, Samantha thinks it is important to have dreams and goals and she wants to show the world that being in a wheelchair can't stop you from achieving your goals. I want to teach people that being disabled doesn't mean that you can't do something. It just means you have to do it in a different way, she says.